Good morning, good morning, You Can Heal family. Are you ready for some more genealogies? My name is Sheena. We are in First Chronicles, chapter 4 of the Old Testament. And today we're looking at the genealogy of Judah and Simeon. So let me get some water, clear my throat, and get to it. All right, here we go. The genealogy of Judah. Some of the descendants of Judah were Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Shobal's son, Reaiah, was the father of Jahath. Jahath was the father of Ahumai and Lahad. These were the families of the Zorathites. The descendants of Etam were Jezreel, Ishma, Idbash, Hazalaponi, his daughter, Penuel, the father of Gedor, and Ezer, the father of Hushah. These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrahath, the ancestor of Bethlehem. Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two wives named Hela and Nara. Nara gave birth to Ahuzam, Hefer, Temani, and Hajatari. Hela gave birth to Zerath, and Izhar, Ethnan, and Kaz who became the ancestor of Anab, Zobba, and all the families of Aharel, son of Harum. Verse 9. There was a man named Jabez who was more distinguished than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and extend my land. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted him his request. Caleb, the brother of Shua, was the father of Mahir. Mahir was the father of Eshton, and Eshton was the father of Beth Betha. Paziah and Tahina. Tahina was the father of Ir Nahash. These were the descendants of Rekah. The sons of Kenaz were Othiniel and Sarahiah. Othiniel's son was Hathath and Meonathai. Meonathai was the father of Orpah. Sarahiah was the father of Joab, the founder of the Valley of Craftsmen, so called because many craftsmen lived there. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, were Eru, Elah, and Naam. The son of Elah was Kenaz. The son of Jehalel was Zeph, Zepha, Tiriah, and Azarel. The sons of Ezra were Japher, Merad, Ether, and Jalan. Merad married an Egyptian woman who became the mother of Miriam, Shemaimai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtimoa. Merit also married a woman of Judah, who became the mother of Jared, the father of Gedor, Heber, the father of Soka, and Jakuthiel, the father of Zenoa. Merit's Egyptian wife was named Bethiah, and she was an Egyptian princess. Odiah's wife was the sister of Naam. One of the sons was the father of Keliah, the Garmite, and another was the father of Eshtemoa, the Mechathite. The sons of Shimon were Amon, Rena, Ben-Hanan, and Talon. The descendants of Ishai were Zohath and Ben-Zohath. Shelah was one of Judah's sons. The descendants of Shelah were Ur, the father of Rekah, Lada, the father of Merashah, the families of linen workers at Bethashibia, Jochim, the father of Gozebah, Joash, and Sarah who ruled over Moab and Jashubilahem. These names all come from ancient records. They were the potters who lived in the Tain and Gedera. They all worked for the king. Whew. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now we're going to listen to the genealogy of Simeon. The sons of Simeon were Nemuel, Jamin, Jerib, Zerah, and Shaul. The descendants of Shaul were Shalom, Mibsam, and Mishma. The descendants of Mishma were Hamuel, Zakor, and Shimei. 
Shimei had 16 sons and six daughters, but none of his brothers had large families. So Simeon's tribe never became as large as the tribe of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Moladah, Hazar, Juel, Shual, Bilha, Ezim, Toled, Bethuel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Makobath, Hazara, Zasum, Beth Beri, and Shara Aini. These towns were under their control until the time of King David. Their descendants also lived in Etam, Ayan, Rimmon, Token, and Ashan, five towns, and their surrounding villages as far away as Bela. This was their territory, and these names are recorded in their family genealogy. Other descendants of Simeon included Meshabab, Jemlech, Johash, son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, son of Joshibiah, son of Sariah, son of Asiel, Elioniah, Jacobah, Jehohiah, oh my gosh, <laughs> hold on you guys, Azahiah, Adiel, Jezmael, Benaniah, and Ziza, son of Shephi, son of Alon, son of Jedi, son of Shimni, son of Shimeiah. These were the names of some of the leaders of Simeon's wealthy clans who traveled to the region of the door in the east part of the valley, seeking pasture land for their flocks. They found less pastures there and the land was quiet and beautiful. Some of Ham's descendants had been living in the region of the door, but during the reign of King Hezekiah of Judah, the leaders of Simeon evaded it and completely destroyed the homes of the descendants of Ham and the Mennonites. They killed everyone who lived there and took the land for themselves because they wanted its good pasture land for their flocks. 500 of these invaders from the tribe of Simeon went to Mount Seir, led by Pelatiah, Neriah, Rephaiah, and Uziel, all sons of Eshai. They destroyed the few Amalekites who had survived, and they had lived there ever since. All right, so that's the genealogy of Judah and Simeon, and that ends chapter four. I really appreciate if you listen to the entire chapter. Let me know if you did. It means a lot, means I'm not alone, and I'm thankful to God for the company. So tomorrow we'll be back with chapter five, which is the genealogy of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh. Have a beautiful day, and always remember, True healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and he lives on the inside of you. Bye.